Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are taking a look at Umod or Oxide, and we are installing this on a local server and also on a hosted server. For this, I am expecting you to already have a Rust server, like I said, either locally hosted or by some sort of hosting company. For Rust, if you want to install plugins, you need to install a modding platform like Umod or Carbon. In today's tutorial, I will be using GTX Gaming. I would recommend looking at some sort of comparison, look at the locations they offer and also look at the prices. Based on that, decide what kind of servers you would like to use. As you can see here on the control panel, most of them are using something called TC Admin. Things will look fairly the same, but might be in slightly different locations or with different icons. We will first take a look at the hosted version and then do the same thing on a local server. So let's start off by installing Umod. Let's first of all stop our server. Let's then go into Mod Manager. From the Mod Manager, we can go to Umod and then click on Install. We now need to start our server and this will generate all the required files and folders that we need. So let's go back to our dashboard and then start the server. Looking at our web console, we can then wait for the server to boot up. We are then going to reconnect and make ourselves admin. For this, we need to know the Archon password. If you don't know the Archon password to your server, try to find the start file. For GTX Gaming, it's under configuration and you can see here, start file has the Archon settings. Here we can find the Archon password, so we can copy this, go back to the web console, paste it in here, and then press enter. Now we are able to run commands. We need this to be able to make ourselves admin. Just reconnecting to the server. If you didn't close the game, this should be fairly quick. Of course, depending on your setup. So now we are back in the game. When looking at our file manager, we should now also have a Oxide folder. And inside of that, we should also have a plugins folder. Pretty self-explanatory. This is where we are going to put our plugins. When creating a new game server under integrations and game server, it will give you the download link for the Tabex plugin. You can also directly download it from here. I'm going to upload this tabex.cs file inside of my plugins folder. And then we should get a message inside of the web console that the plugin has been loaded. And there we go. This way we know that Umod is installed correctly and the plugin is also loaded correctly. For us to interact with any plugin, we need to make ourselves admin or at least give ourselves the proper permissions. And to give ourselves the proper permissions for the plugins, it is easier to do if we are admin. Inside of the web console, I'm going to fill in my Archon password so I can run commands. And then I'm going to look for the message saying that I joined the server. Here you can see my IP address, port, my Steam ID, and my, oh, my Steam ID, and then the username that I use in game. So I'm going to copy the Steam ID. I'm going to say owner ID, and then it says it added us as a owner. This only takes effect when you join the server. So I'm going to kick myself by doing kick and then the Steam ID. This has kicked me from the server. Now I can just rejoin. And now we should be admin. We should also get a message saying that we have authenticity level number two meaning that we are admin, so we can do more than normal players. One of the main things we can now do is interact with plugins, but also we can spawn in stuff that we need for our server. You can click on anything and you can just spawn in stuff in case you're doing some sort of research or if you're setting up a kit, you will also need to spawn in items. Now let's say we want to use the Vanish plugin as a admin, allowing us to go fully invisible. So let's download this plugin. And it says here, we need to have the proper permission to go invisible. I would highly recommend getting the permissions manager from Codefling made by Stain Amaru. This is a awesome plugin making things a lot easier. This tool automatically detects all the permissions inside of a plugin and gives you a graphical user interface to just click buttons to turn on and off permissions. So I'm also going to download this. Let's go back to our plugins folder inside of Oxide and then let's upload both those plugins. So let's select Vanish and let's also select Permissions Manager. Just by holding control, you can select multiple. Let's open those, wait for them to upload. And we can double check in the web console that these are actually loaded. Permissions Manager and Vanish compiled successfully. As expected, when we do slash Vanish, it says we do not have permission to do this. Let's open up the Permissions Manager by doing slash Perms. We can either go to a specific player or to our groups. Let's just go to player for now. Here we can see Vanish allow, we can grant that permission. That's all we have to do. Now, if we do slash vanish, you can see vanish is enabled. If you're hosting your server locally, you will have a folder with all your server files, including the rust dedicated.exe. 
and also your start bat file. I usually search for umod rust download and this will give me the download page directly. Click on rust and this will download a zip file. Inside of the zip file, we have a rust dedicated underscore data folder. You can see we have the same folder over here. All we do is just drag it inside of the main folder and let it overwrite all the files that it wants. Now, when we start our server, let's give it a moment to boot up. We should get our Oxide folder. And there you go. Here is Oxide and we already have our folders. All we do is go into plugins, get our three plugins, drag them in here. And now once the server is booting up, it will automatically load those plugins. And then all you need to do is make yourself admin, give yourself permission, and then you're done. This is how you install Umod. This is the first step you need to be able to connect your server to Tabex. In the video description, there is a full tutorial on how to connect your server to Tabex and also how to make a proper VIP package that you can then offer to your players to claim or purchase through your Tabex web store. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.